How's it going folks? I hope you're all good. I'm going to start today's video with a question about the PS4. It was games, consoles in general actually, about power consumption. Seeing as I'm about to turn it on, I thought I'd uh, show you what the crack is. And now I can actually see because i got this battery monitor thing. So, they do use quite a bit of power. Uh, PS4 when running uses about 10 amps, give or take. If you want to use it, you need to sort of plan around it. So right now, I'm getting 6.7 amps of solar going in. Well, it should be more if I tilted my panels, but because it's about 20 to 6, so the sun's a bit lower in the sky. But during the day, I have about 15 amps going in. So basically, I can play it for free. But if you're going to play it in the evening, and then obviously it's going to be a lot more of a drain on the batteries. But if I fire it up, that's on 100% battery. Uh, this shows my rate of draw. So there's 5.4 amps going into the batteries right now. If I turn the PS4 on and the screen, see that'll take a hit. So bear in mind there's 6.7 amps of battery going in. So with the PlayStation on now, I'm only losing just over an amp of power. So if I scroll through this, this tells me how many hours I would have to play at the current draw before zero. Now obviously you need half of this because you don't want to drop AGMs below 50%, but still 100 hours at my current usage. So I'll fire up the game and it should drop down a bit more. There you go, that's the game on now. Two and a bit amps. Basically it's using peanuts. But obviously if you're using it at night and you're going to you know, use it for 3-4 hours, it's going to be quite a hit on the battery, so you need to make sure that you're going to be able to charge it back up again the next day. I know it's either going to be sunny, or I'll just run my engine for an hour or two. And that will charge me back up. But yeah, luckily at the minute we're being blessed with this good weather, and uh, good for battery power. So yeah, there you go, hope that helps. I imagine it will be similar numbers with an Xbox. I have the PS4 mounted up here, I still need to paint these brackets, it looks kind of crap. But I've had loads of questions about my TV in the past as well. It's actually not a TV, it's a 27 inch IPS computer monitor by NQ. A bit dusty. <laughs> yeah, so it's not running on 12 volt, that's running on inverter, but it uses so little power anyway, it's a joke. When I checked it, it was about 18 watts. So you divide that by 12. And that gives you roughly the kind of ampage you're going to be using. It's a bit of a rough way to do it, but that's how I always do it. So 18 divided by 12 is 1.5 amps per hour. And that's about right. That's pretty much what it says on that monitor. So yeah, there you go. Made a few, or well, quite a few purchases today because I got paid. So I've decided to completely swap that camera. Um, I was going to buy I was going to buy a Fuji XT200. Um, this is just for doing the video, by the way. It's for this kind of thing, this piece of camera business. But this whole focus issue, and also the fact that I can't even see that this is recording right now, is driving me mental. So, because I've still got all my Nikon gear in here, I decided to buy an older uh, D5300, I think it is. Uh, purely because the screen flips around and I've also bought a Sigma 10 to 20 mil to stick on it so both used came to about 350 quid I think which isn't too bad considering the Fuji for the body on its own was over 750 hopefully that's gonna solve the issues I have um, obviously I'll still be using the Fuji's for everything else it's literally just me talking or if I'm recording and the camera's set and I need to see that it's on 
or we're recording or in focus being the main one that's why I wanted to change it so yeah hopefully that should be good a load of other stuff coming as well um, it's all being delivered to my mum's house and I'll have to drive over there Friday today so yeah not this weekend next weekend probably the following Monday or Tuesday um, depends when everything turns up really but yeah I'm excited about that I've also ordered uh, like a light to go on the camera and all kinds of things invested in the channel a little bit so I hope you appreciate that once the videos start coming out right I'm gonna chill out for an hour or so now play a bit of Red Dead and uh, touch base in a bit I'm gonna be doing a live stream over on CJ's channel this evening so that should be a laugh Hopefully you all get the notification for that. I'll probably post something on Instagram later anyway. I think we're in for another sunset treat here tonight, folks. Tell you what, it's the sunsets that we've had here, I'm not going to lie, probably some of the best I've ever seen. I don't know why. It's just our, maybe it's just our placement. I'm not sure, but bloody phenomenal. I'll go show you. What are those? Hello. A bit oh, swag. The shoes. It is. <laughs> I can't be doing with uncomfortable shoes. Going on a date? <laughs> Look at this. Absolutely mega. The camp. That is not another van person before anyone says. That is a horse box. Finally got my axe today as well. So, gonna give that a bit of a test run. I had to put a bloody edge on it though. It came completely blunt. Which was not ideal. Never work with dogs, man. Hey. <laughs> the struggle I had. Absolute first hole. Oh, <laughs> right, folks. So it is almost time for another live stream. And we're doing tatties. Oh, that's a great photo. Hmm? That's a nice photo. Thank you. Yeah, we're having potatoes with baked beans, cheese on the open fire. Legal? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good one, mate. Bit behind on the mint. As well. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Halloumi on there as well. Oh, yeah, boy. Cool. Hi, Mike. Hello. Hello. 